Nine, inductance. Part two is transformers. This is a diagram of a transformer, which consists of two coils of wire wrapped round this laminated soft iron core. This coil here is called primary coil. That one there, secondary coil. And this primary coil is the input coil where you put power into it. And this secondary coil is the output, output coil where you get power out of it. The magnetic field from the primary coil threads through the iron core into the secondary coil as indicated by these closed loops of field lines. This has the same effect as moving a magnet into the secondary coil. How a transformer works when an alternating current is flowing in the primary coil, it causes a changing magnetic field in the iron core. And this changing magnetic field threads through into the secondary coil, inducing an alternating current in it. A transformer is thus a device that is used to change one alternating voltage level to another. Now we come to an important transformer equation. It says here primary voltage here or input voltage divided by secondary voltage here or the output voltage is equal to primary turns or the number of turns of the primary coil divided by secondary turns or the number of turns of the secondary coil. And this is just a formula in terms of symbols. Now we come to second transformer equation called power transfer equation. And we're assuming 100% efficient. So the power input into the transformer is equal to the power output. And that's input power, that's the output power. V for voltage, I for current, P for primary or input, S for secondary or output. This question two shows you how this power transfer equation can be applied. There are two types of transformers, step up and step down transformers. Here is a diagram of step up transformer. It says here in a step up transformer, the secondary voltage is greater than the primary voltage. So 400 volts here is greater than 100 volts there. And the secondary turns must be greater than the primary turns. Here we have 20 turns, here we have 5 turns. That's greater than that. Here is a practical application of step up transformers. To increase the voltage output from our power station from 25,000 volts to up to 400,000 volts for the purpose of transmission. For, for transmission, we need very high voltage to reduce power loss. Now we look at step down transformers. In a step down transformer, the secondary voltage is smaller than the primary voltage. Here we have 200 volts, which is less than 1000 volts. And also the secondary turns must be smaller than the primary turns. Here we have 10 turns, here we have 50 turns. Practical application of step down transformers to step down the high voltages used in transmission down to 240 volts for distribution to the consumers.